Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In the previous session, we had discussed about uh, types of white box testing. And in that, we had discussed about uh, what is path testing. So in this session, we will discuss about what is condition testing, what is loop testing and what is that of flow testing. Uh, so let's move on to the topic. So first is what is the definition of condition testing? So condition testing is like testing all the log logical conditions for both true and false values. Uh, this technique involves execution of all statement of the source code at least once. So, so it is of two types. Operation is always returns true or false values. And relational expression what is like greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to equal to equal to and not equal to. So boolean expression is like it may be logical in and or logical or. So here is an example of logical example of an a boolean expression then why then what will be the output i mean like how many test cases you can find from this expression so it always what boolean expression is always returns two test cases right it uh, uh, like true or false so it's like if uh, it's like it's a logical n so so you we can achieve at least two test cases like uh, first is like if x equal to true and y equal to false and another is if x equal to false y equal to true so in this way we will find test cases so next we will take an another example of relational expression so if x greater than equal to y this is logical or z not equal to 0 for if if x greater than equal to y then uh, how many number of test cases it will return it like uh, three test three test cases okay first is like x greater than y x equal to equal to y or x less than y for this expression it will return three test cases and for this expression it will return z not equal to zero means z one is like z not equal equal to zero and z equal to equal to zero so this is all about condition testing so loop testing what is loop testing so loop testing is like testing the loops for all the cycles is called loop testing so it may be while loop, do I loop, for loop, so the loops. So how many types of uh, loops are there? That is simple loops, nested loops, concatenated loops, unstructured loops. So this is your simple loops. So it means simple loops means it means we have a single loop in the flow. And check whether you can bypass the loop or not. If the test case for bypassing the loop is executed and still you enter inside the loop, it means there is a bug. Okay. What is happening in a simple loop? In simple loops, a condition is given and loop runs and terminates according to true and false occurrence of the condition respectively this type of testing is performed basically to test the condition of the loop whether the condition is sufficient to terminate loop after some point of time then is nested loops nested loops when two or more loops are embedded it is called as nested loop if we have nested loops in the program it becomes difficult to test if we adopt the approach of simple tests to the nested loops then the number of possible test cases grows geometrically 
Thus, the strategy is to start the innermost loops and hold outer loops to their minimum values. It must be continued outward in the man in this manner until all loops have been covered. So, sim as sim it's like in simple words, it means like a loop, one loop inside another loop. Okay. It's like one loop is inside another loop. So it is called as nested loop. Uh, in nested loop, there can be finite number of loops inside a loop and they are in nest is made. It may be either of any of three loops that is for while or for do while or for loop. Next comes to what is concatenated loops. So what is concatenated loops? Two loops are concatenated if it is possible to reach one after existing the other while still on a path from entry to exit. If the two loops are not on the same path then they are not concatenated. The two loops on the same path may or may not be independent. If the loop control variable for one loop is used for another loop then they are concatenated but nested loops should be treated like nested only so what is concatenated loop concatenated concatenated loop means uh, one uh, loops after the loop okay loops after the loop so it's like concatenated loop so what is the difference between nested and concatenated is that the nested loop is inside the loop but the here uh, but here the loop is one loop is after the another loop is after the loop that is concatenated loop so next is last is like unstructured loop what is unstructured loop unstructured loops this type of loops is really impractical to test and they must be redesigned or at least converted into simple or concatenated loops basically it is a combination of nested and concatenated loops uh, it is basically a group of loops that are in no order next we will see what is data flow testing it is of two types uh, one is white box testing from memory point of view and what box white box testing from uh, performance point of view then first is what is white white box testing from memory point of view so uh, testing from memory point of view it is like what are all the mistakes developer has done because of which the size of the code is increased because of not using better logic or maybe they are not using functions because of not using inbuilt functions or also not to use any labels and unused functions so uh, for this the memory so the size of the code is increased next is white was testing from performance point of view testing from performance point of view so it's like it's also like same like what are all the typical mistake developer has done because of which it is taking more time to perform so why it is taking more time to perform because uh, developer has not using some better logic maybe okay next is like when we use or um okay when we use so when we use or in the condition put that condition in the beginning uh, in which most of the time gives you result as true but and put that condition again at the end in which gives you result as false then when we use and conditions so when we use and condition put that condition in the beginning in which most of the time it gives result as false so and last is like because of unused variables and unused functions so that's all about data flow testing in the next session we will discuss about what is uh, black box testing so till then 
थैंक यू सो मच एंड प्लीज़ डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू